I wonder if Adam's ever coming back. I hope he is. Yeah. I feel bad for our boy. Yeah, but the show's going great. Yeah, it's fun to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that wasn't the truth. The live show is was terrible. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it was dude. fun. No, no, not Caroline's. Funny Moms. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, oh, I wish I could have been fault. there. I know, I know. Adam refused to tweet out the link. <laughs> I know he's got stuff going on, but I, I don't want to... I would not put it... I would not put it past Adam to... Interesting. ...intentionally not tweet out the link to the show to make me look bad. To remind me that he's necessary for some components of our team. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's a it's a minor power play from him. You're saying you're thinking. Yeah, you always look. You always look mm -hmm. at what Prince Machiavelli. Right. You're probably you're probably brushing up on Prince Machiavelli right now, aren't you? No, that shit comes natural to me. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I don't need to read a fucking book to know how to manipulate people. Smart. Yeah. How did you pick it up? What? What Adam's doing? Manipulation. The art of manipulation. Um, gaming. Mostly. Gaming, of course, on the mods, yeah. on the boards. By by playing anime dating sims. <laughs> Selecting the right question to ask a beautiful princess. <laughs> to get, just to see some side boob after playing it for three yeah, yeah. hours. <laughs> oh, thank you for fucking my pussy. Um, Bro. Checkmate. Bro, I downloaded one of those on Xbox like too late in life, like five years ago. Oh, me, me, Back when you had all your teeth. Me, yeah, dude, when I was a beautiful 325-pound boy <laughs> with nothing but teeth, nothing but beautiful chompers. When I say I got a hookup this time, a friend, a friend's uncle's actually a good dentist. And he really did, like, he did do good work, and the cleaning is good. And he also knows a surgeon who has been working with me. Like, they've been, like, mm -hmm. cool since I don't have insurance. This is the thing. If I go to a guy, and I get my teeth cleaned, I pay 500 fucking dollars. You're not paying that for teeth cleaning. Then I pay 200 or whatever I pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to cut across my face <laughs> right, through right. my eye with a scalpel. <laughs> and I want that goddamn eight ball. That's right. We yes. can get matching eight balls, dude. I would How be jealous would Adam be if he comes back dude. and you have a missing tooth with an eight ball in it? That, my honestly, eye, that my would be cool. Half my face is stitched <laughs> back together. Yeah, I mean, you're still healing, so you look horrible. It's just pink and <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, he comes back and I've been butchered with a machete. <laughs> And I have an eight ball eye. Uh -huh. And he goes, what? <laughs> I want one. I'm like, you're not allowed to copy, bitch. Sorry, dude. No copy. I'm just hooked up to an IV. And then I smile and it just <laughs> gleams. My little eight ball gleams in the fucking <laughs> yeah. sun. Yeah, dude. We went to the hospital. <laughs> bitch. I guess he went to the hospital without you. I guess it would be a round eight ball tooth. It would be, it would just be, it would just be cosmetic it would not no, be, it would be it would look like it look like a tooth. <laughs> it would look like a tooth <laughs> but then it's got the eight ball on god this too. fucking sucks this is the most talking i've done because <laughs> it's like you, you know like i mean i'm I, i'm regular talking but like i sound so fucking stupid you do speaking out of the i've already gotten tooth. used to it it sounds normal to me now i just hit a couple f's in a row and it really got to me yeah but whatever man i'm precocious and young and cute I got a tooth missing. I'm definitely not dying, that's for sure. It's de this is definitely not the first stage of my body quitting on me. Yeah. Between this and the growth in my jaw. <laughs> I mean, getting fatter every year and less healthy. Yeah. And doing more drugs as yeah, I age. Dude. You're young. You're almost 30 years old. <laughs> yeah. That's young. That's young. That's certainly not middle age. No, no, By definition. No. Mm -mm. You know? We're definitely young guys. I'm, I, dude, I fucking... You know when you're like half asleep, half awake, you know? Yeah, of course. I, I And you're still kind of like dreaming, but you mm -hmm. know you're like sort of awake. I had mm -hmm. one of those the other day, and in the dream, someone was like, how old are you? And I like had this thing for a second. I'm like, oh, I'm 16. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, wait, 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 I'm 19. And the guy's like, okay. And then I woke up, and I was like... Fuck, I'm 29. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I love that sinking. when you, you go into like a restaurant, like a shitty diner, and someone's like taking a knife to the seat. Yeah, 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 the booth, and they're yeah. just like, ah, oh, fuck. Who's doing that? Who's know. cutting up booths? Probably a kid like you as a child. I yeah, can see maybe. you taking a knife. Did someone do a bit about that? 
don't think who's so. slashing the booths. I don't the think diner. so. I don't think they did. That's all yours, buddy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like that's such like a fifties gang move. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go to like a fifties themed diner, and you have to threaten the waiter by slicing. Up I the- heard you was serving PRs here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't let the we don't let the Thunder Horses sit in this. <laughs> The Thunder Horses down from 87th Street can never come into the diner. Yeah, when when the only thing that like uh, uh, separated gangs was their fucking little names. They yeah. were just all white guys. Yeah, they weren't yeah. even. They didn't even get the race yet. Yeah, a beautiful time in America. The, the 86th Street goofballs. <laughs> Nobody messes with them. That's Billy. He's the hardest guy in the world. His dad just got laid off. <laughs> That's what makes him so hard. Is that his, his father suffers from depression. <laughs> Damn, I could have been in a gang. That's when I was. T- that's when I would have been tough. Yeah, back then when none of the gangs were very real. Yeah, back in the fifties, I could have been. A, I feel like gang. everybody has those fantasies. Like when you read about like bank robbers in the twenties. Oh like, yeah, yeah. De- Mulaney definitely knows a bit about that. So I don't remember. That. Can't go into that territory. Oh, I you know, know. you know that bit he does about how easy it used to be to rob a bank back in the day. Oh, easy to commit a crime, wasn't it? Yeah, easy to commit a crime. You go into a bank and you tell everyone your name. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. He also also had that other bit about, uh, uh, like, you're bleeding everywhere. And it's like, the tech comes in and it's like, this is the, 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 like, the criminal's blood is all over. It's like, oh my God. No, it's not. We'll clean it up. Well, here's like the victim... Or whatever, and there's like there's blood, hair, and semen everywhere. And the detective goes, "Gross, clean it up." <laughs> yeah. That's the punchline. Yeah. Thanks for listening to Come Town, the stand-up comedy recap podcast, <laughs> where we repeat bits that comics have done, and we say who does them, so it mm-hmm. doesn't count. It's as not stealing. stealing. Oh, fuck, my on. So, what should I do next, man? What do I do in life? Yeah. I don't know. I I've kind of sign. run out of things to do. I think this is a sign that I should just fucking. I feel like I feel like my life in the last year is like you know in Scarface when the push it to the limit montage oh, is yeah. happening. So it's me at the Porsche dealership. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me yeah. F- like fucking a hot girl mm-hmm. or whatever. Like ba da ba 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 da 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 da. You know, just blowing the money. Yes, like, of course. You know, PlayStation VR. Push it to the limit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weight vest. You know, past the point of no return. You know, eight hundred dollars stealing wheel. Yes, eight hundred dollars stealing wheel. Push it to the limit. <laughs> but but what then you, then we're only halfway through the song and there's still plenty of song left and I'm just sitting in my apartment because I've run out of shit to do. <laughs> Past the point of no return. I'm just watching the Apple TV screensaver and twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> Reach the edge, but still you gotta learn. Just looking at my fucking Apple Watch. How to keep it. Answering a text message about why Adam can't come back to the show for six months. <laughs> Push you to the limit. Suck your father's penis. Be reading like the penis. Wikipedia page for corporate sales tax. <laughs> for how capital gains works. Yeah, just fucking look. Maybe at I'll become a stockbroker. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, fuck all that shit. I ain't learning. <laughs> do, 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 do. Learning is for gay guys. As soon as the podcast ends, I'm fucked. <laughs> Good luck getting a job if the employer has Google. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it doesn't end, I still have depression. <laughs> I just want to kill myself. Hell yeah, dude. Everything's going fine and I want to die.